Okay, well, hi guys. Um, just touching base again, been a while. Uh, this is not going to be a video about our Fleming 85, but it's just an update of what we've been up to. Uh, we promise we'll bring you a Fleming 85 update very soon. We will um, be over in Taiwan in about six weeks at the yard to work together with Duncan and Adie, and we've been very busy with planning a lot of it uh, while back on land. While we're in between boats, we take the opportunity to do some travel and we spent um, 10 days over in Komodo National Park on a liveaboard dive charter called Adela. We had a fantastic time on this wonderful vessel. We had 12 crew and we were only six guests on the boat. We averaged about four dives each day, including one night dive. Uh, that was new to me and I loved the night diving. It was fantastic. Actually, the current has died down quite a bit, but I checked that it was medium, medium, medium strong, but still strong enough for, for, for quite a lot of fish to be around. And the topography is you have the thing that just barely breaks the surface there, and you have this ridge that goes out to, 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 towards the sea. So basically, we... Uh, at times we hit uh, some pretty strong currents over around the Komodo Island and Flores Island. Um, so each dive was very well planned and we had a good dive plan in place, uh, which is essential when you're going down in ripping tides. However, we felt very safe uh, knowing that we have, uh, had crew on, um, on the surface waiting for us uh, and to retrieve us after we've both done both our night dives and also our drift diving and also obviously the other dives as well. The visibility at times was fantastic. Um, the reef was quite different to the Great Barrier Reef with lots of soft coral, lots of variety, lots of colour. We couldn't see any coral bleaching and we also didn't see any um, damage from weather events such as cyclones that we do see here in Australia on the Great Barrier Reef. We had um, many times when we were swimming in very strong current and uh, times when we did so to, in order to see manta rays. On a couple of dives we were lucky enough to dive with up to 30 manta rays for an hour at a time. Uh, an amazing experience watching these gentle giants just swim around us and not really caring that we're there, if anything, almost wanting to show off what they could do. At one point we came across a ghost net and uh, we decided to go and retrieve that the following day. So with uh, the three, uh, so with the three dive masters that we had on board uh, and the six guests, we spent one of our dives um, getting this net off the reef and it was a really nice feeling to do something like that together and hopefully minimising the damage to the reef and the animals living on the reef. It took us about a good hour to do that. We were all diving with nitrox so um, we had a good, um, good chance of uh, doing this together. Uh, we're very gently cutting uh, the net away from the reef. This is one of those things when you're out there in the water, if you see something that you can improve. It's a good feeling making a difference when you can. The visibility at times was really great, especially on the northern side of uh, the Komodo Island. And we probably found that uh, the temperature was quite a lot cooler down south of Komodo. I had a lot of beautiful fish around, frogfish, scorpion fish, many different types of nudie branch. The turtles were very placid, but of course it was the manta rays that stole the show for us each and every time. On the night dives we also had beautiful encounters of little bobtail squids and various interesting critters.
So until next time, I think we'll um, leave it there. And uh, if you're looking at going for a good charter um, a liveaboard, definitely recommend uh, Adela Cruises and uh, Retta and Lorraine and the crew. We couldn't have got better service from them all. So um, that gets a big five star from us. All right, guys, until next time, we'll uh, check in from Taiwan. Ciao.